Hello and welcome to lesson 2.2, solving multi-step equations. Today we're going through, uh, our, in our previous lesson we were solving one-step equations and today we'll be solving multi-step equations. Mostly looking at two-step equations but uh, the occasional, you know, three, four uh, multi-step equation is included as well so we just en entitled it multi-step. So we'll be solving an equation may require two or more steps. We'll solve equations for a given variable and uh, kind of the process we're going to be using is really looking at s SAM or SAD. So we'll be simplifying one or both sides of the equation if needed. We'll be adding the opposite or subtracting and then uh, multiplying or dividing to isolate the variable. Remember, once again, it's all about balancing that equation and isolating that variable. So the first one, the problem we're going to look at today is 1 third x plus 6 equals negative 8. Uh, so let's talk about this problem. So our first, our goal is to isolate that variable. So 1, we're going to use the inverse operations of addition and subtraction first. We're going to use the inverse operations of multiplication and division second. And then remember, it's always important, whatever we do to one side, you must do to the other side. So whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other side of the equation. So as I'm looking at this problem, <coughs> excuse me, I have 1 third x plus 6 equals negative 8. I need to get that variable by itself. So the first step I'm going to do is just rewrite the equation. So if I was doing this in my notes or whatever else, I would just uh, record my original equation. I always want to show my work, make sure that I start with the, the correct thing. So in order to get this variable by itself, I need to get rid of all the other stuff first. So how do I get rid of a plus 6? Well, I'm going to do the add the opposite of that plus 6. So in order to add the opposite of the plus 6, I need to Sorry, I'm going to need to write this. Uh, subtract 6 from both sides. So that leaves me with 1 third uh, x equals, because those 6's are gone, so negative 8 minus 6 is uh, going to give me negative 14. Uh, can I simplify this? There's nothing else I need to really simplify, so I'm going to multiply by uh, the reciprocal of that 1 third. So in order to get rid of one third, now I need to uh, multiply by the reciprocal of that, which is uh, three over one. So I'm just going to multiply both sides by three. That gets rid of that, and that leaves me with x equals uh, three times negative fourteen. So negative times a positive is going to give me a negative, and uh, fourteen times three is forty-two. So my answer is x equals a negative 42 and and can I simplify that um, I mean that is my answer so x equals negative 42 um, and the kind of the steps that I went through in getting there so once again I can always take that back up and verify my answer so one-third of negative 42 is going to be negative 14 negative 14 plus 6 is negative 8 so it does check out Okay, let's look at another problem here. So I'm going to solve for x. Uh, 7x minus 3 is 24. So 7 times what number? Take away 3 is 24. So let's kind of work through this problem here. Um, I'm trying to get x by itself, so I need to get rid of all the other stuff first. So I kind of say that, you know, this 7, uh, he's got a little backup here. He's got this variable backup. So I'm going to pick on this little guy, the guy that's just by himself here, this minus 3. So how do I get rid of that? So I add 3 to both sides. Uh, it leaves me with 7x equals 27. Uh, I need to get x by itself, so divide both sides by 7. And x equals 27 over 7. If I was to you know work that out, I would be close to 2.8 or so, but uh, because that's kind of you know an ugly number, it's still rational, but but it's kind of ugly. I'm just going to leave it as 27 over 7. That's simplified enough for my purposes. So x equals 27 over 7. And just a reminder from last lesson, we always want to write so that our variable equals. Um, we don't want to leave. We don't want to write 27 over 7 equals x. We're not interested in what 27 over 7. We know that that's 27 over 7. We want to know what the variable x is. 
So looking at our another example here, I'm solving for x. I have negative 8 times x plus 20 equals negative 58. And I'm going to solve this for x. So once again, uh, this negative 8, I don't want to pick on him first. He's got some backup. He's got hanging with a variable. So I'm going to subtract the 20 from both sides. Leaves me with negative 8. x equals negative 58. Take away 20 more is negative 78. I have to divide both sides by negative 8 to get rid of that negative 8 to isolate that variable. Negative over negative is a positive, and 78 over 8. And I could simplify this a little bit. I could write it as um, 9 and 6 eighths, or 9 and 3 fourths, or 9.75. Uh, but 78 over 8 is fine, so any of these would be acceptable, um, except probably this one because the 6 eighths is not really simplified. Um, <coughs> so I would just leave it as 78 over 8 as my answer. And let's look here. 10x plus 15 equals negative 75. So once again, I need to decide where to start. So do I start with the number that's by the variable? No. So I'm going to pick on this little guy here, this 15. It's a plus, so I need to subtract 15 from both sides. Leaves me with 10x equals negative, take away 15 more. It's going to be a negative 90. Divide both sides by 10. And x equals a negative over a positive is going to be a negative. 90 over 10 is 9. So x equals negative 9. Okay. So a couple of problems there for us that we've worked through. Let's take a look at another example here. Uh, I want to solve this problem. Hmm, I wonder where our problem went. Well, the problem that we had was 1 half x minus 5 equals 10. And I'm going to solve this uh, for x. So I'm going to rewrite my original equation. So step 1. I need to add the opposite of a negative 5, so I need to get rid of this variable, or, you know, I'm not ready to work with the number by the variable, so I'm going to work with this, so uh, I'm going to add 5 to both sides, and that gives me a 1 half x equals 15. Can I simplify that? It's already simplified. So I need to multiply by this reciprocal, so I need to get rid of 1 half. How do I do that? I, I multiply by the reciprocal of 1 half, which is... 2 over 1, so I'll multiply both sides by 2. 2 halves is 1, so those cancel out. So that leaves me with just x equals, and 15 times 2, so x equals 30. Well, what is half of 30? It's 15. 15 minus 5 is 10. So does it check out and verify as our answer? Yes, it does.